Welcome everybody to more Oregon Trail, where the game is getting harder and harder as we go. I'm telling you, the last, I think, um, the last few bits there, uh, towards the end of last stream, got a little spicy indeed. If you're excited for more Oregon Trail, hit, hit the like button right now. Let's go. Smash the like button if you are ready for some more. If you're excited, if you're here live and you're watching this live for the first time or watching the replay, yeah, I guess either or, doesn't really matter. Wherever you're watching this, hit the like button because, uh, yeah, it's time for the Oregon Trail, and I'm very excited to play more of this. It's a fun game. Absolutely fun game indeed. Ah! No! No! No, no, no! 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 Ay, ay, ay! I did not mean to click new game. I, sorry, let me reload. I, I, no, I don't want to re, no, no. No, no, no. No. <laughs> Please, no, no, no. Try again, take two. Quiet on the set, quiet on the set, take two. There we go, my lord. Sorry, let's try that again, shall we? Yes, continue. How you doing everyone, how's it going, Sunny? How's it going, Zombie Slayer? How you doing, Belaine? What's going on, Whitney? How you doing, Anti Meow? How you doing, Anti Meow? Uh, Amanda, how you doing, Amanda? Yeah, Gaming, what's going on? Game Station as well, how you doing, Colin? Aura, how you doing, Aura? How you doing, Naomi, Naomi, Whitney, Whitney? How you doing, Whitney? What's going on, Q and Masumi? Hi, how are you? Good to see y'all. Welcome back to the Oregon Trail. Black Raver, how you doing, Black Raver? Yeah, how you doing? Um, no, 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 not that, please. Not that either. Sorry, main menu, please. Resume my Oregon Trail. Yes, and thank you. It says, wait a sec, time out. Did you see that? It says 75%. Does that mean we're 75% from getting to, uh, Oregon? Are we that close? We might be that close. <laughs> hey, Piper, how you doing, Piper? The Paragon line, how you doing? I just subscribed earlier because I enjoyed watching you play this yesterday. Oh, very well. Well, welcome to the channel. Hey, Don, how you doing, Don? Yeah, that was close. I thought, yeah, I, I thought so too. Whew. Uh, yeah, so I guess we're that close from finishing or reaching Oregon if we will reach Oregon if we can reach Oregon uh, real quick though another thing I need to do as well is I need to go to settings and I need to turn off the music completely because guess what unfortunately copyrights are being thrown left and right on these streams so that's that's lovely I guess I mean can it get worse I think so this will unlock a grandfather clock I, I don't know grandfather clock Oregon or bust journey I don't know what the grandfather clock would do for us, even if we unlocked it. Let's go. Hey, Shorty. How you doing, Shorty? Good to see you, Shorty. How are you? Hope you're doing well. Three-fourths of the way there. Th thank you. Congrats. Yeah, th thank you indeed. Uh, for Boise, now, at the end of the last stream, we did talk to everybody. We traded with everybody. We actually went to the store. We bought everything and, and did all that good stuff. Uh, so, we, I think, for the most part, we are ready to depart already. We've got everything that we mostly need. We only have $24 on us, so we're as good as we can get. So let's depart. I made sure to do that so that once we jump back into this stream, we could just go ahead and uh, get going right now. Yeah. Fort Boise. Oh, crap. The Blue Mountains. Fort Nez. The Dallas. The Dallas. The Columbia River. And Oregon City. So this is the last leg. Yeah, leg five of five. This is it. Are we making it to Oregon today? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Blue mountains. From a distance, the mountains are surrounded by a blue haze, the final major barrier for any westbound emigrant. Collect herbal remedies and get $49. Reach the next settlement in 14 days and get $37 dollars as well 14 days our estimated time arrival is seven days oh this is gonna suck this is this is gonna be the hardest isn't it this is gonna be it we will go left we will go left yep Cora is going to kill and eat your party probably yeah probably with some apprehension the party surveys the imposing mountains ahead f dude the final stretch of the long trail to Oregon traverses daunting terrain, to be sure. 
All right, all right. Let's be good. The real question is, are we going down the river or not? That's a fantastic question. <laughs> it's a fantastic question. Hey, James. How you doing, James? How you doing, James? Fleeing family. Great. All right. Already off to a great start, no? <clears throat> Today is the day we must believe. So, the party is waved down by a young woman by the side of the trail. She looks to be in rather a desperate situation. Please stop. Uh, we're in need of your help, the woman calls out to the party. Now, what's the use in that, Alice? They're just going to ignore us like the last lot, or worse. How many caravans has it been now? Nobody wants anything to do with us. Not so, uh, not so entirely there. I still have faith, Joseph. There are good people on this trail. I know someone will help us. Please, travelers, we're running desperately low on food. We have gone hungry night after night. You must help us. All right, so, yeah, like an, a morale thing, very much so. Hey, Colin, look at that, Colin. A gifted membership to Piperbird. Big ups to you, Colin. Thank you for the gifted membership. I don't know why my my alerts aren't going off. Uh, it might be an OBS thing. I do apologize, but once it does come through, it will probably come through eventually here. But thank you very much, Colin, for the gifted membership to Piper, and thanks for that. Really do appreciate that. Hey, Whitney, how you doing, Whitney? Oh, wait, I think I said hi, hi to Whitney. My lord, my lord. Uh, I wonder if we'll run into that one guy we were trying to bully into joining a band instead of living in the mountains. Oh, yeah, the mountain guy. That'd be kind of cool. So already, uh, we have to look up here and be like, all right, should we be good or bad? We will ask what happened. We escaped from our, from our owner, and we're trying to make our way to safety, but they don't need to know that, Alice. Well, we've run out of food. Surely we can tell them that much. The pair certainly look hungry, but the party has to consider their own situation, too. Should the party offer food, or should we ignore the family? There's a part of me that feels like my the smartest decision, at least for the trek that we're going through, is to ignore the family. But my heart says I cannot ignore the family. I need to give them food. The party offers what little food they can spare from their own supplies. Oh, thank you. You don't know how much this means to us. See, Joseph, didn't I tell you that someone would help us? All right. I can admit when I was wrong. Thanks, stranger. It's just hard to trust people, even this fair, this far west. I have to protect my family, make sure they stay free. It's a responsibility I don't take lightly. Hey, Andrew. How you doing, Andrew? Hmm. Right. Will that bite us in the back end here? Going forward. I hope not. I really hope not. Uh-oh, there's a block in the road here. Explosive idea. Ahead of the party, the trail disappears under a mass of wood and leaves. <clears throat> it seems a recent storm has brought down some large trees that now stubbornly refuse to move out of the way. Given some time, the fallen trees could be chopped and removed. However, it would require significant effort of the group's part to do so manually. Alternatively, the party could backtrack and try to find another way around... So there is no guaranteed one even exists. What should be done? What the frick? Clear with nitroglycerin? <laughs> I say we chop the logs. We can't go back now. We must go forward. Here we go. Frick, dude. You always follow the heart. You either follow the brain or you follow the heart. You have to choose which are right, right? The party gets to work clearing the trees. They set in for an exhausting day. I think in real life, I probably would do the same too. One day and 12 hours lost. After significant time, you think, and effort, the rock slide is cleared. Uh, enough to let the wagon through. The party can continue. F me, man. That sucked. That was a long day. Long day indeed. Explosions in the mountains. What's the worst that can happen? Oh, God, there's bears here. Um, this is a bear thing. I, yeah, obviously we hunt. We have to hunt. We have no choice. We don't have a lot of bullets, I don't think, if we have any at all. I, I didn't read how many bullets we have. I don't know if we have a lot of bullets. Hey, Carrie, how you doing, Carrie? We have 15 bullets. They take three shots. 
Three shots. All right, that's all I'm doing. Two bears. That's all. Oh, there's a reindeer. All right, get the deer. Yeah, get the deer. All right, two bears, one deer. I almost did. Look, I almost did another deer. Okay, two bears, one deer. How did that do? 80? I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take it. We don't have a lot of bullets as is, but we do have fishing bait, so don't worry. If we can find a fishing hole, I don't know if you can find a fishing hole up in the mountains, but if we do, we have that. So 80 pounds of meat back to storage. We will do some pelts. Three pelts as well. Very good. All right, we shall continue to... Hang on, inventory. Let me look at the inventory real quick. We have flour, flour. We could discard that. Wait a sec. Where's our meat? Yeah, discard this and put our meat in there. There we go. Uh, we will hold on to that. We will, we will not go to the fishing hole. We will go here instead to the left. There we go. Uh, yes, we will discard the nine flour and we will continue. I used to, I used to love the old version versions of this game. Your streams are making me really want to play this one. There's a lot of replayability here, I will tell you. It's a pretty cool game. Uh-oh. Rain. I'll be playing this game tomorrow. Oh, big shout to you, Colin. The looming clouds at last give out, showering the wagon in a constant blanket of rain. This weather is depressing. Okay, party hygiene down, morale's down. The mood is somber as the wagon's wheels slog over the muddy ground. We should have repaired the wagon. Wait, minus two clothes? The rain pours in through the wa wagon's damaged canopy, ruining some valuable supplies. Frick, dude. Two clothes. At last, the rain clears and sun returns to the trail. <sighs> Love that. Loyalty attitude. Why? Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are we so upset all of a sudden now? The party takes a moment to choose which trail to follow. Time out. Why did... Wait a sec. Hang on. Hold up. Wait a minute. What is your deal? Why are you... What happened to you? Why is your morale all of a sudden just got shot to hell? I barely have clicked three buttons. All right. Well, let's spread the freaking Bible here. and Let's use some composure, shall we? My Lord. What happened? Why'd you... Like, I... <laughs> really? <laughs> Already? All right clothes right there oh my gosh we just started okay we will go to the campsite and we will sit there and we will do our thing she said that there are no more clean clothes for her exclusively of course uh we have clothes for her she needs i mean we well i guess i mean i don't know i don't want to waste clothes on her right now right no i don't want to do that quite yet a bouquet of wildflowers rests against a lone marker on the side of the trail. A fresh mound of earth beneath it, the surrounding grass barely recovered from a recent trampling. Something has been carved into the stone, words for whoever lies below. Lulu decides to approach the marker and read, and read the words aloud. That looks like a, uh, yeah, uh, pass away. Don't say Little Mary. Don't say Little Mary. Don't say Little Mary. It reads, Our only child, Little Mary! Oh my god. Four years old, Lulu's voice drops to whisper as she reads the last words. Oh my goodness gracious. That is terrible. That is terrible. Oh my lord. That is terrible. <laughs> oh no. Oh man. Uh, hey, Neverly. How you doing, Neverly? Good to see you. Jefferson, how you doing? You still have clothes? Yeah, yeah, I still have clothes. Yeah, yeah, I still have clothes. Yeah. This is terrible. This is terrible. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't like this. I'm very sad. How dare you? And the morale gets shot again! <laughs> congratulations on completing the frail monument. Uh, no, not congratulations. You have unlocked the frail monument. No, I, I should not be congratulated for this. Okay, so one thing that we can do here. Let's pause it for a sec. Time out. One thing that we can do here <coughs> is hopefully give them a filling ration of food. Maybe that will bring up morale in some sort or a way. I will use a clothing item on Lulu in hopes that she gets out of her mood. I have no other uh, party morale buffs that I can do at all. Very sad about that. I, I don't know. 
Hey, Lala. How you doing, Lala? AKJM, what's going on? How you doing? Luce, how you doing, Luce? Good to see you. <sighs> Might be morbid, but I would have never left her berry along the trail. I would have packed her into the wagon and brought her with me to wherever my destination was. The little unused doll. I know, you saw the little unused doll, right? Isn't that terribly sad? Alright, so we're gonna eat more food, and hopefully these people will hold a... They will hold our... Or hold their morale, if anything. We already have two people forlorn, and we barely even started. Set up camp here. Rest and all that good stuff, whatever it's gonna be. Right? Yeah. Set up camp indeed. Yeah. Stargazing. I don't know if any of this actually does morale things. I can't remember if not. Stargazer tells stories. Maybe tell stories? So the party sets up late in the into the night, telling stories about their lives around the warm, flickering light of the campfire. Loyalty, attitude. Okay, I saw loyalty and attitude go up. That's good. Party morale. That's plus one on Lulu. That's something. Rather than nothing, the party returns to the trail. Though they didn't get a good rest, they managed to learn a little more about each other. Very well. Um, We will go to the... Undisclosed area. Yep, undisclosed area. They are hitting it hard for this last leg, aren't they? Well, I mean, this is this is gonna be a tough one altogether. Yeah. Hey, Margaret, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. Can only stay for a bit, but had had uh, had had to oh had to see. I thought that said Tozy for a sec. Had to see how the trip was going. How you doing? Uh, the wagon lurches to a stop with the almighty crack. Yep. Are we going to have to fix this up? Uh, we will let Lulu go do it. Yep. Four hours lost. Condition good. And she actually did complete it. So that's good. Uh, we are like, actually, like, she needs a cup of coffee while we're at it too. Um, right. Can we, hang on. Yeah, yeah. Let's repack this. I need to repack this, please. Uh, do this. Into this. Into this. Into that. There we go. Into this. Into that. We don't have any coffee, huh? Frick, we don't have any coffee. Okay, so no coffee. Uh, let's see here. No coffee. Let's go steady. We'll go steady. This is like the first time we've ever done any pacing or rationing at all. But we'll, we'll, we'll steady it up now. Consult the camp. Or sorry, consult the map. The party takes a moment to choose which trail to follow. Yeah, we, we, we will go this way. Continue on. Continue on. Steady filling. Steady filling. Get the rabbits. There you go. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Get the goat, too. Morale has gone up. That's good. Morale has gone up because of the food that we're given. Alright, this is one way. We are... We. This is the way. Skatoo spies a strange object on a distant tree. As the party draws closer, they recognize it's a beehive hanging from a branch. The beehive is likely full of honey. If gathered, it would greatly enrich the wagon's food stores at the risk of great pain to whomever it collects. Which, who should it be? Uh, <laughs> oh no. You know what? I'm not, nobody is messing with the beehive. We leave the beehive. Nothing good ever came from angering a swarm of well-warmed insects. The wagon uh, trundles onward, leaving the bees behind. Not worth it. Don't need it. Don't need to have it. How you doing, Chibi? How's it going? Still alive? Yeah, we're still alive. <laughs> How are you? I'm glad I caught the stream and uh, and glad to see hopefully you make it to Oregon. Yeah, very good There we go. Oh, there's a bear. So hunting, uh, right. Uh, we will not do any hunting. We will push on And we will push on to gathering herbs because I think that's what we need. Yeah, three spring herb herbal remedies is what we need Black bear black bear Brown bear brown bear. I'm thinking of the brown bear book. Anybody know the brown bear book? Okay, let's go and fix this up we will use one wheel to repair that hole. Very good. And then we will um, grab this son of a gun, put it back there where it needs to go. And all we have left is flour for the rest of the time. No more meat. Okay. Okay. Party, stamina, all this. Lulu is exhausted. Very much so. I, I, I agree. Even though we're still going at like a steady pace here. Let's pause for a sec and take a look. Uh, let's see where we're at here. Anything that we can help with our people. 
take a look at our party. Uh, Lulu is doing this with us. Uh, Skatoos. What's Skatoos doing? Skatoos needs a little bit of energy. I didn't realize we're going to need so much coffee on us. I mean, this is a pretty big trek, is it not? Uh, right. Let's keep it coming. Keep it coming. Actually, you know what? Let's put on some new clothes while we're here. This is a good time to have new clothes. Let's go. Let's continue. No one is ever going to do that to the beehive. Oh, the greetings, travelers. It's good to see your faces. Oh, my God. Are these the people, the medals? It's incredible that you managed to rescue most of my friends. Thank you, truly. As much as I wish we could have saved more of them, I must recognize that even this many is a triumph. Please take this reward. It's from all of us. Best of luck for your journey. $60, yeah? Hooray! Quest completed. Congratulating on completing your... How do you say this? Fiora? 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 <laughs> no? I know that's a city, dude. I know it's a city. Never been to it, I will admit. Never been to it. Trying to warm out from the outside cold? Is it cold where you're at right now? I, 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 you know, it's, it's, it is cold where I'm at. Not too drastically cold, but it is cold. The party spies a thicket. We will harvest this, and this will be Skatoo's dues. E or E a, E or E a, E or E a, E or a, E or a, or P or E a. <laughs> Skatoos are paranoid. One herbal remedy that sucks. We need three, not one. Energy's going up. That's good. That's good. As long as the energy's going up, uh, except for everybody else, Skatoos and Otto's energy is going up, but morale we still have there. Hygiene minus one. Uh, let's. See. Oh God damn it, Otto! Tripping over a small bump, Otto finds himself in the dust. A little sore, he picks himself up and keeps walking. Thanks, Otto. Thanks for that, buddy. P or E R. <laughs> it's about four Celsius there. Really? Wow. Forlorn, forlorn, and forlorn. A double take on the forlorn. I, you know, I don't know. I'm really not sure what their dealio is. I don't know how they got so upset so fast, but they got so upset so fast. Maybe it's just because it's the harder terrain and it's mountainous. Could be that. We, am, we are giving them extra food, which I should probably back down here in a bit. It looks like we are coming up to something here. Oh. Hello? Ooh. It is a depressing bunch. <laughs> it's a depressing bunch. The Blue Mountains are the final mountain range that the party must traverse before reaching Oregon. Despite the long, arduous journey, the travelers can't help but be awed by the majesty of nature. Okay, let's see here. We will talk. First things first, talk. Jacob Hofstetter. Anything with you? This valley of the Grande Ronde, Ronde, Grande Ronde, is the most beautiful sight I've seen in months. I've dumbed it water and grass for grazing. Uh, and if this valley is so fine, the Willamette must be twice as fine. We'll be sitting pretty in our new homestead before you know it. Very well. We'll see about that. Marnin Stewart. We followed the edge of the desert from Fort Boise to the forbidding wall of the Blue Mountains. The hills were dreadful steep, uh, locking both wheels and coming down slow. We got down safe. Poor animals, though. No grass or water for days. There are a few folks admiring the view, otherwise idling nearby. I mean, it is a nice view over, overall. The Overlander here says, Since crossing the snake at Fort Boise, it's been just mountains and desert. Dust deeper each day. Uh, dust deeper each day. Six inches at times. No tracks, just clouds of dust. Many cattle choked on the dust after swimming in the river, then bled and died. Oh my god, that's terrible. <laughs> Absolutely terrible. What the frick? Uh, anybody doing some trade? Anybody got some coffee? Anybody want to sell some coffee? You got some coffee, right? You got some bullets, too. You're selling that bullets for high price, aren't you? That's high price stuff right there. 42 herbals? Yeah. How much are you selling that coffee for? What if I gave you one medicine? One medicine for one coffee. Would you give me some of that? One medicine for one coffee? I'll take it. 
I'll take it. Dare I sell pelts? No, I will not. Not selling pelts. Rest up. There we go. Rest up. There we go. Hey, Cassie. How you doing, Cassie? Lulu is no longer exhausted. That's good. Now, with that being said, let's... Oh, shit. Yep, well, I guess we're going to depart. But with that being said, uh, please and thank you. I would like to switch our pacing now a bit. Uh, Fort Nez Pierce? Purse? All characters must survive. That is already scary <laughs> to hear. <laughs> oh, do we get a harmonica if we don't get dysentery? Very good. On the east bank of the Colombian River, Fort Nez uh, offers travelers a chance to resupply before the final stretch. Get as much money as you can, basically. Now, here, we will go meager at a strenuous pace. At a strenuous pace. And we will go... Well, it doesn't really matter which way we're going to go, I guess, right? Uh, yeah, it's about the same on each side. We'll go left. We'll go right. We'll go left. We'll go right. We'll go left. We'll go right. We'll go right! The party sets out again, entering the final stretch. It has been a long and laborious uh, voyage, but it's nearly over. Could you imagine actually doing this in real life? Like, it's crazy how they how they did this back in the day. You son of a bitch. Otto lets out an ear-splinting cry and the wagon uh, lurches suddenly. Tripping over a simple stone in the soil, Otto falls and finds himself crushed underneath the unstoppable wagon wheel. He has suffered grievous injuries and uh, needed some serious treatment. You actual fool. We will treat it with medicine. Otto takes a large amount of laudanum, 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 and takes a few hours to kick in, but eventually, in pain, eases, and he is capable of walking again. It'd be a good idea to seek further treatment when possible. Yeah, you think? God damn it. That's gonna tamper his energy, too. Lord have mercy. Stuck in a rut. F. F. F, F, F. F. Gotta go get the blankets. We're about to turn electronics off to uh, prepare for our turn in the blackout. Be safe, everyone. Have an amazing stream and send warm thoughts my way, or this way. Have a good one, Neverly. Indeed. And please be safe. Absolutely be safe. And bundle up in the blankets like a freaking burrito. That's what uh, they always told me as a kid. Like, get into a burrito-shaped blanket or some sort. The wagon's back wheel catches in one of the trail's myriad ruts. It sticks and jams fast. It will only move on no further. We'll be ambush. Oh, shoot this thing. Unpack some. With the wagon bed lightened, the party pushes as the oxen pull. In time, the wagon rolls free. The cargo is repacked, and the wagon continues its journey towards Fort Nez. Can we stop? Honestly, with everything being so damn... <laughs> everything is just hitting me at once here. All right. One thing at a time here, please. Okay, are we okay? Are we fine? Everybody all right? My lord. One thing after another right now. now I wish I had like an awesome... The wagon hits a particularly large bump and a loud crack rings out from the wagon. The wagon bed and canopy have been damaged by the rough trail. While nothing has broken completely this time, the party should consider repairing the damage before things get worse. Who should attempt to repair? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, at least we did good. It is hard work, but Lulu repairs some of the damage to the wagon very well. Okay, time for us to use this stuff, I feel like, now. Uh, almost, just about. We will repair it. this, this, this. We will put this... Uh, right there. Put this... Nope. This right there. Uh, and just hope that we have uh, something good going for us. Now, hang on a sec. Let's... let's
Let's get hit steady pace, steady pace, steady pace. Let's slow it down a bit because apparently everybody lost their energy. This would actually be a really good time probably to use that coffee. Let's use that coffee. The reason why we got that coffee. And let's steady it out a bit. Let's continue. Okay, this is going to be bear hunting. F, dude. I don't even know if we have enough uh, bullets for that. It takes three bullets to take down a bear. It takes one bullet to take down a deer. Maybe I just go strictly after the deer. I'm not going for the bear. I'm going for the deer. This is only deer. I'm only going for deer. I hope there's deer that show up. Come on, come on, come on. I only have six bullets. There's a bison. Frick, dude. Frick. Frick. There was one deer that showed up. Frick, frick, frickity frick. Overall, I think it was a smart decision. Overall, I think it was a smart decision. Let's continue. Go to the fishing hole. Yes. We got to go to the fishing hole. We can at least fish. We can at least fish. And we can get food that way. Party morale does go down a bit even more. We could go back to, you know, the good stuff. A grove of wild berries grows near the trail ahead. Hey! Debbie! Debbie, thank you very much, Debbie, for that. Thank you very much, Debbie, for the super champ. How you doing, Debbie? Hope you're doing well. Hey, James, gipe, gipe! How you doing? How you doing, Debbie? Hope you're doing well. Skatoos will do it, but Skatoos doesn't have the wayfinding uh, trait that she usually has because she's in a bad mood. Hygiene goes down as well. Anything worthwhile? Collects as many wild berries as she can find. Very well. Wow, 35 foods. So we got 35 foods from that. Party morale does go up. Very good. Okay, I feel it. Let's time it out here. Actually, let's not time it out here. Let's keep going. Do I prefer the hunting or minigame? Uh, or fishing minigame? I, I, I think... Whoa, craft some bait. I think personally, I like the... Uh, I like the... Um, the hunting mini game, personally. All right, so let's go fishing now, shall we? There we go. Rainbow trout, indeed. Ah, ah. I don't know if that's gonna be enough. Enough angle on that. Oh, baby. I don't think he sees it. He doesn't. Come on, come on. No, you son of a gun. Okay, there's wasted bait right there. Oh, that's a big fatty. Look at that thing. That has like red sparkles coming from it too. Not exactly where I wanted that to go. But I will take it. That's a fatty right there. I need it. I need it. I need it. Cutthroat trout, apparently. You gotta, like, position your character, right? In the right way. That's not the right way. Don't worry. I got it. I got it. I got it. Don't worry about it. I got it. I got it. Please don't go away. Please don't go away. There we go. Come on. A bull trout. Yeah, that was a trophy fish right there. Hell yeah. I saw I saw the red glitter. I saw the red glitter. You have caught the maximum number of fish you can carry. You may quit or continue fishing for journal progress. No, no, no. I I, I, I will uh, end the mini game. So we got a trophy fish. We got three fish and 60 pounds worth of fish. Overall, it's going to help us out for sure. It's going to help us out. Now, one thing I would like to do, though, is I would like to throw on some clothes for freaking Skatoos here. So let's see if I can throw on some clothes real quick for Skatoos. We'll do that. Give you that. 
give you that as well. I can't believe how fast we're burning through these clothes. Interesting take here. Uh, where to put the fish? Yeah. Yeah. We need the fish. The fish prevents starvation. This stuff gives morale, though. Food stuff gives morale. This is the only food that gives us morale. Um, damn, this is going to be tough, isn't it? That's a fat stack of fish. Mmm. Ah, shoot, dude. Um. Thank you. Played Tetris in my day a couple of times. I'm not good at it, but I played. Uh, more fox. Let's go foxes instead of bears. I'd rather shoot foxes because they are a little bit easier. A uh, little less bullets, I guess you could say, right? You could shoot fox in this game, right? Or whatever the heck that is. Yeah. Okay. Otto is no longer exhausted. It looks like we're actually coming down from the hill, which is good news. The bad flower, we'll discard it. Discard the bad flower. Continue. Ah, repacking the freaking clothes, dude. Okay, okay, okay. This is okay. This is fine. Uh, we will go here, and we will repair that little spot there. That opens up more inventory space for us. That's, you know, it is what it is. It's decent. Let's continue. Everybody seems to be in a decent mood now. We are coming down from the mountain. A little bit more air to breathe down here. Right? Foxes are here. We can decide to shoot the foxes, but we shall not. We shall push on. We shall push on. Hey, honeypot. How you doing, honeypot? So cool to see this playthrough. This game is awesome. Thanks for being here, sharing it with us. Very good. Thank good. Thanks for being here, honeypot. How you doing? Uh oh, what just happened? What's going on? Broken leg day one. Food stuff. <sighs> Heavy clouds are rolled. Terrible day for rain. The ground quickly grows. What are we going to lose? Lulu, refined, is distraught by the mud and dirt covering her clothes. Get over it, Lulu. Okay, party down, down, down. That's all right. After some time, the rain goes away. Okay, we didn't lose any inventory. If anything, people copped an attitude. That's fine. I mean, we're like a few miles off from where we need to be. Really, we are. We're a few miles away. Does any repair repair any hole? Yes, you can use the toolbox to repair, or you can use the wheels, axle, or the tongue things to also repair as well. It's a lot of snow for early, uh, early September. I'm assuming this is like Colorado, right? Looks like the ox is farting on auto. Facts. Okay, we've made it. We've made it. Look at this place. This place looks amazing. Would this be like New Mexico, Colorado? Are we past that? Where are we? I don't even know exactly where we're at. I forgot, right? We should be like, what's next to Oregon? Is Idaho next to Oregon? Nevada? The party rolls towards the fort at uh, Fort Nez, keen to take refuge from the mountain's frigid winds. Reunited. Nope. How did Cora even end up here? How did she survive what the hell we just went through? Did you see the mountain? Did you see the snow? Did you see the bears? How did you survive? No. No. Leave. Get out of here. So we did get $42 and we got a harmonica. We completed both of our quests, which is going to be very important for us. <laughs> very, very important for us. But my lord, look at this place. It looks fantastic. All the places have looked great. I, I tell you, the art in this game is really, really fun. 
Okay, so now we can take a breather and be like, all right, let's, you know, we have quite a bit of money on us. We will talk to some folk around uh, here. The fortress is an opposing structure. Several walls are layered at the outskirts, serving as in, uh, imp 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 impenetrable defenses. Trade is only conducted through a small hole in the inner wall, limiting how many people can access the fort. <laughs> Interior. Talk to George. Uh, the fort's named after the Nez... Uh, people, but it's actually located on the traditional lands of Walla Walla. Boy, I sure hope someone was fired for that blunder. Joseph. We hold annual expeditions into snake country from the fort. We started doing it after Donald McKenzie proved it was a worthwhile fur trapping venture. Amy Witherspoon. My cousin's Catherine was one of the six children orphaned and left at Whitman's mission. Lived with them for three years until the massacre last November. She has survived snake bikes, stampedes, falls, fights, not to mention a massacre. Aloquat? Aloquat? You asked about what happened at the mission. I ask you why Dr. Whitman's medicine cured white children, but not the children of my people. The missionaries spread the measles to us and threatened our way of life. Hey, it's George Bush again. Hello, travelers. It would seem the government, in all its infinite wisdom, doesn't want my business in Oregon. The fickle fo fools. George Bush was never one to take a. I wonder if this is like a real character based off of a real character, like a real person in real life, too. I've called in a favor from some old business pals from Hudson's, and we're heading north instead. Good luck to you. Interesting. Cora probably went uh, donor party to survive. <laughs> Let her join the last stop before Oregon. That way you get the achievement for getting all four safely. Very good. That's a good idea, Chibi. That's a good idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right. Who's trading what here? Selfish? Possibly. Bullets, grease, coffee, flour. I feel like all those are going to be expensive. Bullets. Four Dragoon Medals, Medallions, Coffee, Five Dragoon Medallions, do we need to hold on to the Medallions anymore? I don't know. Um, Services, first things first. Let's pay for Auto. Let's take care of Auto. Let's get you going here. Uh, sorry, I did that wrong. Auto. Pay. There we go. Auto wayfinding plus one. Oh, good. All right. We will. We won't restore his health. Uh, we will do. Um, come on now. We will do. Hang on a sec. Check the store. Hundred and thirty-three dollars. What do you have here? A lot of expensive ass stuff, especially this dude. $90 for clothing. Hmm. This is tough. This is very tough. He was a real person born in 1779. George Bush somehow already made it to Oregon, was denied staying, and then made it all the way back here. Why is everyone else so fast in this game? <laughs> What do the medallions do? I think the medallions, we were supposed to keep the medallions for uh, the guy. I forgot his name. But for the uh, captain guy, so to speak. We will pay for hygiene. For auto. For auto. I think they're for something for, but no idea. They're probably using the guys playing it by, yeah, I know, right? They're using the guys like contraption by now. Dare we do the wagons? I mean, well, I mean, we're really going to need stuff to repair our wagon. Like, we're really going to need this. Add the wagon. We're really going to need this. I think we're going to need grease. I think that's a good purchase, honestly. Maybe even more than one. Clothing, we're not going to be able to do. We just flat out can't do it. We could get more wheat, though, if we wanted to. Let's take a look at the wagon right now. 
So the thing with the wagon, we have 70 wheat and 34 fish. Just keep shopping. Actually, you know, maybe that's what I'll do. I'll, I'll buy that. That will keep us with 58. 58. We will rest. We will rest. Pay for lodging. Hopefully that fixes our morale as well. Hey, Leanne. How you doing, Leanne? Carpentry goes up. Shooting goes up. Wayfinding goes up. Morale goes up. That's good to see. That's very good to see. How's our party doing then? All together. Morale did go up. Not all the way up, but did go up. We will be departing with the thought of spending more on food, more food consumption. But we might be going at a faster pace. Let's go to the store here. If I'm going to go more food, faster pace, coffee beans... Would not be a bad idea. He only had one in stock. Right. We'll buy the coffee beans. Yeah, we'll buy the coffee beans. And I think we only have one medicine. I think we should be fine, right? If the quest is over, I don't think you need to keep them anymore. Okay. I mean, we did get a congratulations, right? So let's see here. We'll go trade supplies and see what people are offering now. What are you offering for two things of coffee? Hey, rip. What are you offering for 38 bullets? Double rip. What are you offering for 54 flour? I will do this. And what are you offering for four toolboxes? One medallion for four toolboxes? I could do that, right? There's no point of haggling because we can't get any lower than one. So we'll go one. And we will buy the flower as well. And we will go one. Okay. So hopefully that saves us a little bit of time. Hold on to the pelts. Hold on to the fish. I believe that 100%. Take a look at what we have here. Uh, we will use repairs now. Cover some important things like the medicine. We do have a harmonica for morale purposes as well. So we can play a harmonica before we leave here. And I think that's probably a good idea. So let's get a harmonica going. Everybody's morale is back up. Very good. There we go. Wits, composure, party morale, loyalty, attitude, all the above have been increased with that. That's good to see. So then our party altogether looks decent. Decent. And I think we can depart. Yeah. We can definitely depart. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Here we go. This is my first time ever playing the Oregon Trail. And... I think I've gone pretty far than most, maybe, possibly. We'll have to see. The Dallas. Where the trail finally meets the banks of the Columbia, Columbia River. Only the final difficult stretch this ahead uh, lies ahead. Restore Otto's health for 154 wheat. Collect herbal medicines for $39 as well. Okay, all right. Uh, we want to go to herbal side. So we will go this, this way. Uh, so the party leaves the safety of Fort Nez, stealing themselves for the final leg of the Oregon Trail. Now, question. Where are we sitting at? We're running at a steady pace. At a meager hit of food. At a curiosity. Right? Packed. Thank you. Repacked. Thank you as well. Oh my god, this was definitely damaged hardcore. Uh, yeah, this and like 
well, this goes over there, and this goes right there, and that's fine. And we don't really have to worry about that too, too much, no? Continue. 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 Uh, Cody? The wagon lurches widely, its wheels failing to find a uh, purchase on the loose dirt of the hill. Lulu breaks her leg, cries out in pain, and the wagon barrels into her. It is evident that Lulu will be unable to walk on her leg without treatment. Someone should examine it. Who should it be? Otto. <laughs> Push on. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Otto examines the injury. He struggles to determine the extent of the break, but suggests that it should be splinted so that Lulu will at least be able to walk once again. Here goes another curveball. I think I'd rather have a leg than Forlorn, though. I think I would rather have that. A broken bone than, like, a Forlorn. Hunting. Push on. Push on to the berries, baby. The wagging's wearing out, very much so. Okay, now we can fix it up a bit. Let's go here, we will repair this. 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 And that is it, so far. Yeah, that's a lot, right? Obviously, that's a lot. We are running very low on stuff to repair. But we shall push on. 71 days until winter. I think we're going to make it to Oregon before winter. What is that? What is what? What is what? Oh, herbals? Yes, we will do this. Now, I believe Skatoos actually has... We will inspect the berries with Skatoos. I think Skatoos has an extra little bit of wayfinding skill. Someone planted these here to thwart us. Convinces the party that the berries are poisonous. Oh my god. You and your paranoia, dude. I tell you, Skatoos. You help. You, you hurt us more than you help us. You hurt us more than you help us. Hey, Becca. How you doing, Becca? <sighs> Taking root, we will harvest. Skatoos will do it. Hopefully this gives us some nice berries with good morale. One herbal remedy, that's fine. That's fine, because I think for our quest too, we need to get herbal remedies, but uh, I don't think we're going to be running into that anytime soon now, are we? All right, here we go. Travel here. Party morale down, hygiene down a little bit, fish down, flower down, broken leg down, morale down. Stop the vast expanse. Lulu suddenly yells out, halting the forward march. A rip in my shirt. Hi, yi, yi. We'll do it with Otto's uh, wits, I guess. Otto will help this. Hopefully we can repair it. Good job. We can. Good job. Good job, Otto. You're good for something, right? Oh god, forlorn, of course. Skatoos is forlorn. Wh why? 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 Because your morale is so damn low? Look at all that. Is this hunting ground over here? We're only 30 miles away. Hunting ground. We push on. Yep. We move on. We move on. That hurts a little bit. Repair it. We don't have a wagon wheel, so we have no no choice to, but to repair it. Uh, we could have just replaced it with the wagon wheel. Oh my god, did she do it correctly? My lord. Good job. Good job, Lulu. Lulu rises to the task, repairing the wheel with admirable, admirable speed. But we must now repack. Right, this is going to be the hardest of it now. Uh, we will repair there, and we will repair 
there. This will go back there. This will go over here. This will be sent off over there. Look at... Like, we are very much, very much um, low on supplies. This is getting tough. This is getting tough. We're so close. I'm getting to the Dallas, right? Oh, look at you. Look at you, Lala. Apply that grease, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Good, good shout. Great shout. We've made it, though. We've made it. In one piece, two pieces, three pieces, four pieces. I don't know. You pick a piece, five piece, six piece chicken bucket from KFC. Your choice. Your choice. Do I have a harmonica? I do not have a harmonica. Lala is better than Lulu? Facts. Arriving at the Dallas. Uh, as the party crests the final rise of the Dallas, vast swaths of Oregon country appear ahead. The journey is nearly over. We didn't get any of our uh, quest uh, things completed. Uh, that sucks. So we will talk to people around. Many travelers have gathered around, either waiting for the courage to finish their journey or preparing for a long trip back. Alexander. These last hundred miles to the Willamette Valley are the roughest. Either rafting down the Columbia River or driving your wagon over the Cascades. My advice is to hire a guide. I know a Cayuse man who's great at navigating the river. I mean, with, uh, with Witherspoon. My cousin uh, Lydia engaged passage down the Columbia with some KU's guys, a canoe with 17 people and luggage. The wind blew so heavy uh, they had to lay by. Near dark, high waves come up and over their heads. Finally, they made it to shore safely. Toll collector. I collected tolls for the Barlow Road, a bargain at twice the price until last year. The Overlander Trail had no choice. Everyone floated the Columbia. Now with Barlow's new road, you can drive your wagon right into Oregon City. F dude. No Cora. Yeah. Where's Cora? I don't know where Cora's at. What do y'all trade in here? Clothes? Kind of tempted. Coffee? Also tempted. What are you asking for the coffee? Too much. You're asking too much. Damn too much. Again, we haven't used the traps. I think you'd use it for bear traps, right? Maybe? I don't know. Alright. Store. There's no store here. We will rest. We will rest. We're not going to get much from these people, are we? Oh, no. I saw a party morale. Did someone just go into Forlorn? You're hurting me. You are hurting me. You know what? Honestly, if you're going to be a forlorn and you're going to say that I'm going to leave this party. Look, we've been on this trail for how many days? And then right as we are just about to make it to Oregon, you're going to leave me. Check yourself, honestly, because you will wreck yourself. All right, here we go. Made by Wera. How you doing, Made by Wera? How's it going? Alexandria, hello, how you doing, Alexandria? After months of travel, the group must resolve on a final approach to Oregon. Will they venture north and brave the Columbia River Rapids or south along the overland route via the Barlow Toll Road? The party weighs their options soberly. Frick, dude. <laughs> I don't know. I guess the Columbia River? <laughs> Do I go to the toll road? I don't even know what that means. Like, if I go to the toll road, <laughs> does that mean I'm going to pay for something? Or pay for the road? Or pay to access the road? 
And then if I don't have enough money, are they just going to turn me away? Is that what it is? Is that how that works? If you can afford it, the heckin', heckin' toll road. The rapids are so hard sometimes. Hey, Lady Kryptonite, how you doing? Think this game is worth a buy? I do, I do think this game is. River, River Rapids sounds dangerous. Also sounds fun, though. The toll road is expensive. Toll road costs. Go River. <laughs> Does anybody know how much it costs, though? Does anybody know how much the toll road costs? Go, you, it's the last chance to die. <laughs> I've been binge watching your playthrough of the Oregon Trail the whole day today. Oh, very good. I love to hear that. Hope you're enjoying them. The river should be the mini game. If it was the same as the original. It will be hard. F me sideways. How much money do we have? We have like 30, I think. 20 or $30. I can't check. It won't let me check. No idea how much it costs, but it will be basically all you have. I think I have to go the traditional, right? Is it? I have furs. Frick, dude. Now you are... It's. It, this is a tough... One. You know what? This is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. We're going to cast a vote here. This is going to be people... You watch here live. You're going to be the ones that uh, determine my faith here. Which path? Do I dare go down the Colombian River... Or do I take the toll road? Ask the community. Go ahead. Vote on it right now. And we will go from there. We will do this quick. This will be a minute or two minute vote. Make sure to put in your votes fast and quickly. And uh, we will pick and choose and see. I, I guess I say we. Yeah, we will. Whatever majority is, that's the way we will go. And then if I have to go to Columbia River and play a mini game and get my ass kicked down the stream, then I guess I'm going to get my ass kicked down the stream. You're trusting chat? Don't do it? I know, right? This is going to be it. <laughs> this is going to be it. River, the short one looks suspicious. I know the short one does look suspicious. This is going to be a close vote. We're sitting at 54%. 55%. 45%. 49votes in. Make sure to cast your votes right now in the chat. Cast them away. I'll give you one more minute to cast your votes. One more minute to cast your votes. So far, Columbia River is a majority, but can we outdo that? Can we outdo that and go toll? Toll road due to lack of supplies. I'm feeling the same way. Like, I'm already low as it can be. I feel the same way, Nathan. The real toll road was $5 per wagon. Oh, dude, if it was like that, we would easily, like, psh, pass by. This, is, this vote is closer than I thought. I know, right? 30 seconds. We have 30 seconds left to vote. Make sure to get your votes in. This is going to determine the fate of this run. <laughs> Will we make it to Oregon or not? Probably not. Let's be real here. Better to be broke than dead. All right. 15 seconds. It's looking like Columbia River is going to be the way to go. And that scares me. Really, it does. 10 seconds. Am I going to keep playing this after? Yeah, probably. There's there's other scenarios I want to play and try. So definitely probably will. All right. That's it. Looks like we have our verdict. It is the Columbia River. We shall go down the Columbia River. And uh, we're going to see if chat led me the right direction. <laughs> I have a scapegoat, okay? I can blame chat. <laughs> Columbia River. Here we go. Avoid a broken arm and you get an adventure book. Look, that's not going to happen. The mighty Columbia River flows past Oregon City and offers a raft route for the final stretch. 25 miles. Godspeed. Rafting the Columbia River has long been the traditional means of reaching Oregon, and one of that party has decided to risk. 
They press northward towards the river launch point. Oh my god. We are actually screwed, aren't we? The wagon is in very bad shape, too. <sighs> wow. Uh, excuse me, fox? Coyote? Growl? A coyote growls at the party. The party stops and waits and see how the coyote will react. We will not approach the coyote. We will walk away from the coyote. Here we go. Did I get anyone killed? I have not gotten anybody killed. That's that's a surprise, I think. <laughs> the group notices the flower supplies are getting low. This is time. This is it. If anything, this is the time to uh, to cook some tack. This is tack time. This is tack time. The roar of the rapids reached the party's ears. The sounds of the Columbia River are soon all that can be heard. Avoid a broken arm. Hey, there we go. That's probably the that coyote probably gives you a broken arm, doesn't he? That's probably what it is. What if this would be hilarious, scenario-wise? Since Skatoos and Lulu are forlorn, what if we get to the river and they just leave and Otto is the only one that does the river? That'd be hilarious. Hello, folks. How are you? Good to see ya. I'm about to F it real good here. Alright. First thing I will do is I will give people clothes. 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 And we will hold on. Well, might as well give it to Lulu as well. We'll give it to Lulu also. All right. Close. Do they need stamina? I don't think they do, honestly. I think they're good on stamina, right? Party. Yep. Hygiene goes up. That's good. See if anybody needs to trade any last minute trades here before we uh, die. Harmonica. That would be perfect. I will give you that and I will haggle you for that. Give me that, please. And thank you. We have $25, by the way. So I don't know if that would have been enough for the uh, toll or not. We will give you that. There we go. We will play the harmonica before we float down the river. Yep. Absolutely. I would love to get four toolboxes as well. Can I get some of that too? One dragon medallion. Thank you very much. We will repair what we need to repair. Coffee. Might as well haggle this. Get some more coffee. Extra coffee. While we're here. Thank you. Love the fact that we're using these medallions as another currency. It actually helps out quite a bit. Okay, now, uh, let's take care of our party, shall we? Uh, repair is, like, the first thing we do. Repair. 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 Okay. Play the harmonica. Send it! Gotta play our last song before we go down the river. Alright, so, let me put my seatbelt on, alright? Let me, uh, get ready for this. I've never played the mini game. I don't even know how the mini game works. If this is a rafting mini game, so we're gonna figure out how this goes. Wish me luck, and uh, it's been real. It's been real, and it's been a fun, fun trek. My first time ever going down the Oregon Trail. I tell you what, rapid preparation. The party approaches the river. The wagon is caulked and a raft constructed as preparations are made to raft down the mighty Columbia. How to play. Very well. Very well. Alright, this is going to take full focus. Alright, alright, alright. Here we go. So far, so good. So far, easy enough. Calm. Calm collected. I have a feeling this is going to pick up super fast. Okay. Alright. Pick it up for sure. Pick it up for sure. Pick it up for sure. You gotta you gotta choose the right you, look. Choose a direction. You gotta commit. You gotta commit. You gotta commit. You gotta commit. He committed. He committed. He committed. He committed. He committed. You gotta commit though. I believe in it. Oh my god. Follow the current. 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 Follow it. Follow it. Follow it. Follow it. Oh my lord. Hey, you gotta follow. Follow for yep. Yep. Commit, 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 commit. You're an actual G. You're the greatest of all time. Just know that. This is the Colombian effing river. 
Commit! Oh my god! Oh my lord! I have done it! I think! I take a bow. I take a bow. The party returns to the trail wet and exhausted. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We shall go to Oregon City. Avoid a broken arm again. <laughs> um, We'll go fish route. Let's go fish route, shall we? Let's go. Now the last bit. The very, very, very last bit. Will we survive? Will we survive? We need food. We need food and we need grease. Let's grease it up, baby. Let's apply the grease and let's go forward, shall we? Winter in 63 days. We are definitely going to beat winter time. Lulu, upon checking the bags of flour, finds the mold has begun to grow in one of them. F me sideways. Uh, discard 30 of it. Yep, 30 flour. Now we're desperately needing food. Whenever you... In, in doubt? When in doubt, cans can. Can he? He can. Let's go. Damn it, it's raining. <laughs> <laughs> Heavy clouds roll in quickly. The ground quickly gets wet. At least nothing is broken down, right? Distraught by the mud. It's okay. We're almost to Oregon. We're almost to Oregon. This is not the time to forlorn us. Have After some time, the rain begins to clear on the ground, begins to dry. Honestly, I think I've done decent this run. And I think really the one thing that's really made it easy this run is the fact that we have... Had three people in our party for the mo majority of it. I think that has really helped us, honestly. Like, if you run most of this game, most of this, like, trail or whatever the heck you want to call this, or, like, you know, the Oregon Trail. If you run the Oregon Trail um, with three people for the majority of the time, I think that really helps you. There we go. Thank you. Columbia, Columbia Sculpin? Okay. That, I mean, look, that was a clincher, right? That was, that, I will have to say, I was clinching hard on that river journey. But you have to commit. You got to feel it out, feel the river. How's the river going? Is it going this way, that way? You know? Make sure, make sure you, you go with the flow, right? Go with the flow. That's all you got to do. There we go. Somebody? Okay, take that out. No, thank you. Oh, there's a fatty. There's a trophy fish right there. I'm going for it. I, I think I overshot it. There we go. There's like two fish on that. I don't know if that was the trophy one or not. I don't think it was. Nope. Was not. But that's alright. At least we got some food here, right? Yeah, at least we got some food here. My lord. How are we doing? 72 pounds? 72 pounds? 72 pounds? Am I going to try out the winter? I'm going to try out all different scenarios. Yeah, I will try out all different scenarios for sure. Bluegill. Thank you. We've con we're good. We are good. We're good. Yeah, I'm going to try out all different scenarios. I'm so happy they left the river the same. I always chose the river because it was so much fun. <laughs> 80 pounds of food should help us. 55 fish altogether. That should really, really finish us off here. Make sure that we're good. This right here. Put that right there. Okay. This shall help us. No. Do not. 
leave the party as we are 15 miles out. All I gotta say is F Cora. No, you, you coward! You scatoos! We're 15 miles away! You know how ridiculous that would be in real life? Oh my god! Everybody else's morale went up. For 15 miles. Five miles. Three, two, one. Catch a damn bus. My lord. We're right there. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my lord. Thanks, Skatoos. Thanks, I'd rather have Korra now, after that let down. You let me down. My lord. My lord. Ridiculous. Oh, look at that! Look at that rainbow! Oh, look at that. That looks so cool. Wow. Hooray! Yeah. It looks like something straight out of Snow White. <laughs> <laughs> you got animals, you got flowers, you got birds, stripper, you got rainbows. After months of turmoil and uh, priv privation, uh, fear some dangers and matchless wonder, the party has finally made it to the Willamette Valley. Yeah, without Skatoos. Organ or bus, you have now unlocked a new journey, I guess. Brave the most difficult version of the trail in the ultimate test of knowledge, planning, and decision making. So that actually gives us the harder version of the organ trail organ or bus that's the harder difficulty is what that unlocks but we've done it right we've done it i think oh they've made it congratulations your party reached organ city 139 days it took us to get to Oregon. Journey complete. Congratulations, you made it to Oregon. The journey was a long and challenging one, but now your party can look forward to a new life in the Willamette Valley of, in September 17th of 1849. You have unlocked the grandfather clock. Don't know what that does. Don't know what that is. Don't know what we could do with that. But we've unlocked it, regardless. Miles traveled? Oh, I want to see this. My first time ever playing the Oregon Trail, and I got to Oregon. With 2,100 miles, 2,183 miles with Lulu, with uh, Otto. No Skatoos and no Korra at all. Hooray! Total deaths? Zero. How you like me now? Journey's completed. Two out of 14. Yeah. Game completion. Oh, so it collects everything, everything in the game. So just that one, one, um, I guess one go at it, right? 19% of the game is completed. So talking about replay, replayability and is the game worth it? I, I again, I still, I still, I'm still behind it. I think so. I think this game's worth the money for sure. Adept Traveler is what we got. A three star on our first run. Hooray. Wait, it's not over yet. Try out the next journey. Kaboom. Should I do it? Of course, right? Brave the hot desert and deliver as much ammunition as you can carry to Fort Hall before it overheats. I mean, duh, right? Kaboom. Let's just go to the next thing. Whatever the next thing that the game wants us to play, we'll go to the next thing. I heated preparations on April 1st of 1849. Back to work, Elizabeth says. Load up the wagon, you lot. The ammunition can't be sitting around in this heat. Elizabeth's barrage of orders have become the uh, commonplace since Harriet, Lewis, and Isaac joined her crew in independence. So, these characters that we've seen throughout the game, when we did our trick to Oregon, right? We've seen Elizabeth, we've seen Harriet, Lewis, and Isaac... I guess they are all kind of doing their own stories and own like this. Now we get to kind of like see what their stories are all about. Right. Is that what that is? 
That's pretty cool, right? Isaac, stop slacking. Fetch some water. This could be the last chance before our next destination. Almost as common as la Isaac's laziness. Nice try, Isaac. If we run out of water in this heat, you will, uh, you lot will soon know about it. If you want to get paid, get this ammunition to Fort Hall. If the party runs out of water, the wagon's cargo will overheat and explode. That sounds terrible. Let's get moving. There's 14 journeys, my lord. 50 plus water. So is this going to be something that I have yet to figure out? Like, time. Pause the game, first and foremost. What is the party like? Does it even matter? Banker? Egotistic? Dimwitted? Heroic? Heroic and funny? Charming and slacking? What do we have in the thing anyways? We have water, wheat, our harmonica, coffee, medicine, clothes, and a ton of ammo. Okay. We'll continue. The sun beats down as the party reaches the well marked, uh, well marked on, oh, the well marked on their map. Well, don't just stand there. Fetch more water. It is hard to tell how much water remains in the well, but with some time and effort, someone could surely retrieve some. Who should draw from the well? Probably somebody who is... Maybe Lewis? Make it quick. Four hours lost. Lost in the stamina. Did we get any water from that? This is April 1st. 30 water. Takes some time and effort, but Lewis manages to replenish a fair amount of water. Okay, so now we have to decide where to go from here. What is this? A water well. Another water well. What is this? Undiscovered. Uh, right, okay. So water well, undiscovered. Uh, what is here? This is lost ammo cache. I honestly think we should probably step it down a bit on the food, possibly. Where's our food at? Yeah. Step it down on the food to meager. Let's go to the water well. Let's do that. There are over 100 quarts of water left. Okay, very good. Yeah. And Elizabeth is going to be anno annoying, isn't she? Oh, absolutely. The dust devil, the dust swirls around the party, obscuring vision and making it hard to breathe. I can't see anything. The party is forced to stop continuing search uh, in such a storm would only lead to disaster. Eventually, the storm clears, revealing that one of the oxen broke. Oh, God, the oxen. Uh, really, we should probably search for the oxen. I know it's going to take some time. We don't know where these people's traits are. But I will let Isaac do it. Hopefully, he has enough skills there for that. Three. Okay, well, he has decent, I guess. It's all right, but he failed. We've lost an oxen already. Despite I Isaac's best efforts, he was unable to locate any sign of animals. Twelve hours has been lost. There are 88 quarts of water left. All right. 260 miles. This is going to be the longest, like, 200... Oh, my God. 260 miles ever. A foot behind, a sudden cry comes out, and Lewis's foot has been crushed under the wheel. We shall inspect the injury with who? With Harriet. Harriet's dumb-witted and heroic. We'll ask Harriet. Make Elizabeth work. Maybe Elizabeth should have done the inspection, right? Okay, Harriet cannot do it whatsoever. So we've learned that. Depending on the extent of his injury, we'll ha we'll need to... Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll rest. We'll rest. We'll rest. Yep, rest. Lewis's health goes up. Very good. We'll take a nice little rest. I know it wastes... It does consume water. But... We're coming up to a well anyways, so yeah, we're, we're going towards that. And we're running at a steady pace, too. The sun beats down as a party reaches the well marked on their map. Uh, we will let... Let's let Isaac do it. Or let's let Harriet do it. Yeah, let's let Harriet do it. Maybe pull more water or something? Last time we got 30 things of water. What will we get this time? 30 things of water as well. Okay. Energy, I think. So now we gotta go to an undeclosed area, or does undiscovered area. There are 108 quarts of water left. Hygiene going down a little bit of party morale down. Definitely for Isaac. Uh, for sure. So let's go ahead and look into this. And let's say, you know what? We want to travel with a filling appetite. Keep those morales up. As much as we can. 
Isaac loses hygiene. Looks like the uh, wagon also has been hit. A grinding sound comes out of one of the wagon wheels jammed in place. Closer inspection reveals the sand has uh, wound its way inside the bearing. Very well. I don't know who would be a good carpenter, but uh, Lewis? Question mark? Confirm Lewis is the new auto. Two car... Hey, he actually fixed it. That worked out. Nice. Okay, so let's repack this. We can't go anywhere without our food. It just is what it is. We got to keep our food. I could give... What's-her-face Elizabeth a new pair of clothes or even Harriet. Harriet probably deserves it more, but we'll continue so far for right now. We only have two uh, pairs of clothes to uh, actually, um, you know, spare. 215 miles out. Without warning, the wagon is surrounded by a sandborn on the wind. Dust to dust, the grains grate against the party's skin. Wow. Wow. Wow, everybody just got hit hard. The sandstorm worsens, limiting the vision and forcing the party to slow down. But the party is coated in dust and sand. The air grows difficult to breathe. It tests the fortitude of all traveling through it. My lord, dude. Uh, time out. That really hurt our uh, party 100%. Um, play a harmonica in the, uh, in the, in the, in the sandstorm. Let's do it. <laughs> That's how a harmonica sounds, right? Um, and we'll go Harriet on the clothes. There we go. Everybody's health is actually dwindling because of the, that as well. And we will, uh, continue. We'll do the best that we can. Here's the undisclosed or undiscovered location. Debris falls from a wagon can be uh, seen scattered across the hot sandy ground. Isaac searches uh, the area and discovers a valuable cache of supplies. Oh, water, toolboxes, herbal remedies, clothes, bullets, and flour. Oh, very good. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, that, that helps out a lot, actually. So now our inventory has definitely changed. We even got an extra t-shirt from it. Herbal remedies as well. Love that. Water. Um, we will dump. We will discard some bullets. We will discard some bullets. Take the medicine. Take the water. I think having water at all times is probably the most important thing that we can do. And that's what we will do. That's exactly what we will do. And then what is this? Lost ammo cash. What is this? Supplies. It's possible to find lost and abandoned supplies. Also good. Supplies. So potential here. Lost ammo cash and supplies. Or undiscovered into well. I think we go undiscovered into well. That's what we do. We will discard those bullets. Aren't you just... We're supposed to dis uh, dis deliver all the ammo. I think we're supposed to deliver much of the ammo, but the ammo we just picked up there was just from a cat, like from the um, that little uh, little remains of a wagon. So even if that was a little bit of extra ammo, I can't expect for them to actually expect us to bring in that extra ammo type thing. <laughs> Tripping over a small bump uh, on the ground, Isaac finds himself in the dust. Thanks, Isaac. Appreciate it, Isaac. Hey, Tech Gaming, how you doing? All right, so let's see here. Something's happened here. That's all right. We can go ahead and actually use this to repair. Perfect. And then we'll put the medicine back where it needs to go. There we go. Yeah, so that little ammo that we had, that was the ammo that we just picked up randomly. Wasn't part of our thing, but hang on a sec. Let's actually use this. I know Elizabeth can probably be a raging, you know what? Uh, so we're going to give her some clothes. And we'll give clothes to uh, Isaac because Isaac has a lower party, uh, has a lower morale than Lewis. And we'll do a little bit of that. Now, I will give like, maybe I can give a little bit of herbals to Isaac as well. There we go. We'll do a little bit of that as well. Um, yep. Cool. Sounds good to me. A grave mistake. A small mound of earth. No, no, no. We shall not touch this. Dig up the mound, flatten the mound, or leave. We shall flatten? I don't think we've done that before. Flatten? Party morale goes up. Good. 
Nice. Wonderful. Good, good, good. So that helps our party morale. I think with some wiggling, you could have fit some. You prob probably, you probably could fit some, right? Fit all of it. The party approaches a dilapidated, wind-blown wagon. While the long abandoned wagon looks as if it might collapse at any moment, some parts might be salvageable. We will definitely take a look at this. Uh, actually, we won't take a look at this because none of this stuff will be even will be able to use. I mean, we will be able to use it, but we won't be able to carry it, unless, of course, it's a. Maybe a tongue? We might be able to get a tongue out of it. Let's put Elizabeth to work. Go do it, Elizabeth. Go find a tongue. The tongue is pride free. Okay, good. Uh, we will not take anything else. I will just take a look and see if we can even use that. Oh, we can. We absolutely can. Okay, good choice. Good choice. I remember how the tongue... Like, shape-wise was going to be. I guess we could have gotten another thing, too. Right. Okay. Let's go to the well. I could have got more from there. I'm pretty... I, I could have definitely done that. For sure, for sure. Oh, God. The dust devil's getting... This is going to really hurt us. Yep. Hurt our morale. Hurt our health. I can't see anything. The party is forced to stop. Wait for the storm to go out. Storm does eventually break. Uh, we then ask someone to find their way. I guess someone that's skilled tracking. The only thing we know is that Isaac has some sort of uh, wayfinding. So we're going to go with Isaac in a desperate time like this. Hopefully Isaac brings back good news. Right? He did not. Uh... Have I played a Peko yet? I don't I don't know what a Peko is. What's a Peko? <laughs> Despite Isaac's best efforts, we'll have to uh, continue on. Oh crap. Stranded, a new day draws, and the party's still stranded on the trail. What should the party do? Send for help, inspect the area, search for food, make camp. Make camp. Yes. Wash clothes, tell tall tales, rest up, or tend to the sick. Tend to the sick. I kind of wish I washed our clothes, to be honest with you. More days have passed. Water has passed. Let's see. Let me see here. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let's set up camp again. Make camp. Hygiene. That's good. Okay. Now what we will do is we will inspect the area. And we will send out uh, Harriet to do that. Harriet is heroic. Yeah. Apiary game. Oh, it's an apiary game. Okay, very good. Hey, Nicole, how you doing? Foodstuffs. We actually brought some food back that actually gives us good uh, good morale, too. There are 53 quarts of, uh, of water. Send for help. I, I guess. Send for help. Isaac failed us. Maybe we go with somebody else. Shot in the dark here. Lewis. Will you go out and find some help? We'll go do that. Lewis leaves the party, heads off towards Fort Hall in hopes of getting help. While the party continues to wait with the wagon, he's expected to return in 11 days. Inspect the area again, I guess. Send Elizabeth out. This is interesting. This is interesting. Uh, 
Elizabeth goes out, returns with some supplies, scavenge, more food. More water. Also, pushed down. This is definitely brutal. Check the party. We check the party. No, no, check the party. Check the party. So we have to survive here for 11 days. Is that right? Let's see what happens when we search for food. Hunt for game, craft some bait, forage. Forage. I guess we can learn some skills here. Harriet. Then Harriet out. Hey, Daniel. How you doing, Daniel? How's it going? How you doing? Wayfinding zero. Very well. Make camp for... No, no, don't make camp. Reconsider. Inspect the area again. And we'll send uh, Elizabeth out again. Eight hours left. More, we found flour out and about. Okay, very well. 33 things of water. You could rest up. Maybe get stamina back. But I think their stamina is pretty good. I think their energy is pretty good as it is. Search for more food. Not using the guns. Not using the ammo. Forage. Check Elizabeth wayfinding. Really can't. Really are useless. Can't blame Elizabeth for being so pissed off all the time. <laughs> 51 foods. Oh, well, that's pretty good. Very well. There are 28 quarts of water left. This is it, right? I mean, this this is it. There's nothing else we can go about this, right? We have to wait, and I don't think we have enough water to wait, right? We'll inspect the area again, and we will send Elizabeth out once again. Fourteen flower left. Very well. Twenty-three quarts of water left. At least this food gives us a uh, morale boost, but still. And now Elizabeth needs a little bit of hygiene. We'll inspect it. No, no, no. We will uh, make camp. Worry about hygiene. Take care of hygiene. There we go. Isaac is no longer exhausted. That's good to know, I guess. Isaac got carpenter and wayfinding up. Buy food. We will make another camp. We will do hygiene again. Wash up a bit. 13 quarts of water left. Oh, this is going to be close. Let's just say this is going to be close. I don't know. I don't know. Anybody know how to do the rain dance? I feel you on that one. This is going to be close. Wash up again. Hopefully we're not using the same water. <laughs> I guess we are. <laughs> Five water. Hopefully he gets back in time. This is going to be close. Let's talk about morale. It's getting low. I feel you. I feel you. It is getting low. Health. No, there's no water left. Lewis rejoins the party. At long last, Lewis returns with help from Fort Hall. Are you sure? Because I think this thing is about to blow up. 
Lewis here told us you were in a bit of a trouble. Please take one of our oxen. Hope we hope it serves you well. The helpful group gives the party an animal to pull the wagon. Uh, that's not what I need. I need water, my good man. I need water. Ah! Shit! <laughs> and they're just sitting there. Look at that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Just imagine, these people came out here to help us, and they give us an ox, and they tie our ox, their ox, to the wagon, and as soon as the ox is tied up to the wagon, everybody just blows the F up. Oh my god. They just are in disbelief. They're like, wow, that was kind of crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> Elizabeth has died, you, you think? <laughs> a frail monument to Elizabeth. She loved two things most of all. Good horses and her friends. Edit. Um, yeah, edit. Uh, good horses and... Oh, in memory, sorry. It, a frail moment? No. Here lies Elizabeth. She was lo loved two things. Oh, this is cool. I, I, could you do this in the older o Oregon trails where you can make their own tombstones? Here lies Elizabeth. She loved two things most of all. Good horses. And. And. Uh, dysentery. Okay, wait a sec. Died of. Died of, can I have like an explosion? Died of dolls? No. Died of innocence? No. Died of garbage? Possibly. Died of failure? Yes. Died of love? Died of, died of hope. Save. Confirm. Harriet has died. A frail, no, we will randomize this one. Harriet, be at rest, Harriet. Grief is just another form of flowers. Okay. Lewis has died. Our only child, Lewis, left it all for a better life, but instead found memories. That's pretty depressing. Died of death? <laughs> died of failure? Wait, what is this? Oh, okay. Never forget poor Isaac. He will always, uh, mi he will always miss, <laughs> he will always miss dysentery. <laughs> no. We can't use that. Life is uh, fleeting, but thirst is eternal. Heaven has called back Isaac. Oh my lord. That was crazy, dude. That was absolutely crazy. Sick. <laughs> Four people died, you think? I would do that over. Let, I, I want to do that over. I want to do that over. Journeys, kaboom. Get me on the kaboom, dude. Where's the kaboom? Oh, the California trail. I'm actually kind of interested in that, too. Okay, maybe not. Maybe we don't do the kaboom. Okay, no kaboom. I don't even see the kaboom here. Pushed west? I don't. Look at that. Wagon leader. Organ or bust. Wagon leader. Adventurer. The California Trail. Scenic Journey. Non-interactive. Okay, that's something. Uh, Sightseer. The Nature Trail. Sightseer. Winter Migration. Prologue. Winter Migration. This actually gives us the, uh, the, the, the knife, right? Maybe we do this instead. One Leg. Stila is preparing her son, Little Chief, for his first winter hunt as an adult. The young man has much to learn as they travel together to the hunting grounds. Objective, reach the winter hunting grounds before winter sets in and unlock physician class multiple journeys as well. Yeah, I like that. Now, real quick, hang on a sec. Wait, what does this say? Ah, I see. Journeys survive. Okay, there's different. So there's journeys travel, journeys survive, journeys challenges. I see, I see, I see. 
Got it. So there's different kinds of journeys. That's actually kind of cool. So if you want to do a travel journey in different scenarios, there's this way. If you want to do a death, uh, sorry, surviving one, there's this way. What should I do? Should I go for the survive? Should I go for the kaboom again, or should I at least like, or should I go for the winter migration? Or what? 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 What do you guys suggest? What is something y'all want to see? A nature trail? <laughs> what do you all want to see? I'm gonna go ahead and go into the settings real quick and change something. I'm going to change. I think. Um. I'm gonna put auto collect animals. Yes. We'll do auto collect animals. Oh, there's weekly events, too. Redeem tokens. There's so much to this game. Something new. Do the knife one. Winter migration. Get the knife. Okay. Get the knife. That's the bitter winter. So the, the knife is the bitter winter, right? So this would be a survive one. So one leg. Wagon leader. Caught in a freak snowstorm, Thompson has become... Uh, separated from his companions. Find them and reach Fort Nez before winter closes in. Reach Fort Nez before winter. Unlocks the Mountain Man class and unlocks hunting uh, right, uh, knife as well. I almost said hunting rifle. Let's do it. <laughs> that was like perfect timing. Hey guys, I'm back from 11 day venture. Boom! Dead. What happened? Channeling the last of his energy, Thompson uh, heaves his shivering body from the frozen ground. So cold. Wh where is everyone? They're surely lost on this mountain. I must find them and reach the fort before winter truly sets in. He holds his coat close as, con as he considers his next course of action. I think we've met Thompson before. Talk? Who are we going to talk to out here? The ox? Talk to the ox? There's no one to be seen, save for two uh, oxes. Just the two of you, eh? Guess that will do. The oxen are good company, but offer little in way of conversation. Okay, so what do we have here as far as, like, what do we have here in our inventory? Oh, my lord. Oh, my gosh. Uh, right, so let's put a few things off to the side here. Uh, put some coffee off to the side in the good places. We'll repair this one patch where the food is. I think that's probably smart to do. We have actually quite a bit of uh, patching we can do. What is this? A cutthroat razor. A folding razor with a silver steel blade and polished bone handle. Character hygiene plus six. And we'll put that right there in the safe spot. We have $120. We will probably use the grease straight up. We'll use it now. Then I will pr repair this. There we go. Um, I will probably repair this. And I think that's what we will do for now. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Apart. Actually, hang on a sec. He, he, his, how's his hygiene? His hygiene does look bad, right? Hygiene is a little bit poor. His health is poor, too. Um, let's see here. Let's see here. Let's go. We have a couple coffees we can use, too. Very, very low on food. We will use this right away. And then we will continue. So next. Oh, shoot. I didn't get to read that. So Blue Mountains, Fort Nez. So we just need to get to Fort Nez. We are way over here, I guess. Go to the Blue Mountains. The Blue Mountains, from a distance, the mountains are surrounded by a blue haze, the final major barrier for any westbound immigrants. Restore Thompson, uh, Thompson's health, and we get 187 wheat. Find a party member, and we get some health. Oh, find a party member. That sounds kind of cool, no? Staggering against the bitter wind, Thompson begins the, uh, the ascent in the hopes of saving his missing companions. Very well. Is this Leonardo DiCaprio? You're probably right. <laughs> What's that one movie called? Oh, God, I can't remember that one movie. It's like a relatively newer movie. Tracks in the snow. Could they be uh, from one of my friends? Someone has traveled through here recently. The tracks lead off the trail and into the thick snow. The Revenant. Good shout. Thompson checks the map and attempts to work out where the tracks might lead. Oh, my Lord. Holy hell. My God. 
Uh, right, let's not roll on filling here. I hate to hate to break it to you here, Mr. Thompson, but we're gonna run on meager. We're not gonna run on grueling either. We're gonna run on strenuous. Strenuous? What is this? So this is the tracks, or we can go to a un undiscovered location. I'd rather probably go to an undiscovered location. Let's do that, I guess. What the heck? Who are these people? Helen, Jane, and Jethro? I'm sorry, is our people like out and about? Let's see if he gets a chance to fight a bear. Oh, good, thank you. A grove of wild berries grow near the trail ahead. Thompson looks at them eagerly, anticipating a delicious change from the food packed during the journey. These are raspberries, safe to eat, but best collected by someone with a keen eye. Uh, well, we don't have a choice here. We gotta go for it. Ah! Went up on the way, finding, a little down on the hygiene. Thompson collects as many of the wild berries as he can find. Thirty-fied food, yeah. I, I, I agree. Let's pack that son of a gun in. Okay. So this is going to be simple. We're going to go... Uh, well, this isn't going to be as simple as I was hoping. Uh, let's go... Let's go... How are we going to do this? Let's go... Repair... This, this, this... That... And that. Okay, we have two repairs left. We will put food right there. Bring this over here. And that will be that. Continue. No Cora, I'm surprised, I know, right? <laughs> Debris fallen from a wagon can be seen scattered across the snow covered ground. Thompson searches the area and discovers oh my lord. Discovers a lot of good stuff. Toolboxes, herbal remedies, clothes, bullets, and flour. I agree. Good stuff. I'm assuming the steps mean um like we find party members. I'm not gonna go towards that step. I'm gonna go towards the undiscovered area also. I'm gonna keep it going. Have a good one, Tech Gaming. And that is the way I'm gonna go. Now, getting his health up, I guess one way I could do is roll in with this. And the reason why I did that was strictly just for the quest. Restoring his health completely. I thought that was a fire. Uh-oh. Wagon is hit. Yep, that's all right. That's okay, we could fix it. Let's let Thompson at least attempt to fix it, right? Ooh, a little bit of stamina there. Two on the carpentry, but okay, one, okay, plus, all right, good. All right, let's see here. Let's fix this up, shall we? Um, right. Good thing we got a good amount of repair back, right? We'll put that in and then slide that. That's a good question. Where am I going to slide that? I so can slide it right there. Put this right there. Grab this. Put that right there. We're going to move the money over there. Do a little bit of this right there. Let's continue. Very good. We gotta beat the 11 days ascend here, right? Looks like we weren't the only ones to be affected by this storm. I guess the owner won't be needing this anymore. Let's investigate. The wagon wobbles precariously. It may be possible to retrieve useful materials, but each attempt comes with the risk of the wagon collapsing. I'll take a wheel. I'll take a wheel. I gotta take a wheel. Only a single wheel is, is in an acceptable condition. Very well. I can I can deal with that. Blankets and clothes also found. Thompson notices a pile of blankets and clothes covered in a fine film of dust, but otherwise in fine condition. He takes them back to the wagon. Oh, very good. What the heck do the blankets do in this game? Let's see. Okay, so now we got to really do a little bit of uh, hickory here. What is the blankets? Blankets made from woven? Hygiene. No, they help with hygiene. Let's go. Um, repair. Yeah. Repair, repair. Grab the wheel. Slide it right there. I will use coffee. One thing of coffee, please. And I think we are ready to go. Yeah. 
Thompson decides it's best to leave the wagon alone and moves on in silence. Probably should go a little bit faster. How many estimation? Three days. Okay, so we're like... We're okay, I think. Three days until winter actually really hits. What is this? On the trail? A nondescript trail? Or a prime location for tracking a companion? Let's do that. Let's go for a prime location this time. All right. 10 days. So far, I think so good. Honestly. A sudden squall sends a gust of wind and snow swirling up about Thompson. Oh, damn it. A deep cold seeps into Thompson's bones, sapping his uh, constitution mightily. As if it to worsen an already dire situation, some of the supplies exposed by the uh, wa wagon's damaged canopy seem to have been spoiled by the weather. Eight bullets and 24 flour. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, a little bit of that there. And a little bit of that. All right. Someone has traveled through here recently. The tracks lead off in a trail into the thick snow. Who should follow the tracks? Thompson. Hopefully he'll be okay. Don't fail us. I don't know if that's an answer. Thompson loses the tracks in the endless snow. Push forward. Uh, to the lost wagon or to more foot uh, footprints. More footprints. We're going to try to do this quest of finding a party member here. See what happens. Ah! Yeah! Who are you? Ahoy there! They're the same character model. A stranger dressed in ragged clothes flags down the wagon. A deer carcass lies behind him. It looks as if it has been dead for a considerable amount of time. I got separated from my companions while hunting. We were heading to Blue Mountains. It's so cold, say. Uh, could you spare some warm clothes or anything to keep me warm? I can offer you some of this here deer meat. Ask about the meat. Oh, sure. I caught it a few days back and cured it as best as I could. But with my kindling so wet, it is powerfully hard to make a fire. But it is good, I swear it. One piece of clothing for food or two pieces of clothing for 150 food. I agree. Thank you kindly. The stranger takes the clothes and the remaining meat and thanks Thompson profusely before hurrying off towards Blue Mountains. The man is a, but a speck in the distance. When the sacks are open, the meat has been poorly cured. Indeed, despite the cold weather, it is rotten and teeming with maggots. It really should be discarded. The sacks of rotten meat are left by the roadside, replaced with a deep annoyance at having been conned, uh, conned so thoroughly. What a terrible man. <laughs> what a terrible man. I've been bamboozled. Someone has traveled through here. Let's go ahead and let Thomas Thompson go out and find it. I know, I'm surprised they couldn't smell it. That's, that's, that's a good point. <laughs> that's a very good point. Thompson loses the track in the endless snow. And we're almost at Blue Mountains. Oh, crap. Didn't find a single party member out here, though. <coughs> That's a shame. That's all right. They cruise it into the Blue Mountains. We have $120, 57 pounds of food. Could have been more if we didn't get conned, but we got conned hard. Uh-oh. Snow day. The snow falls over Thompson soaking his clothes and gathering in his boots. Cold, wet, and uh, sodden, he deeply fears the onset of sickness. Don't start, Thompson. We came this far. We're so close. Given the wagon's canopy current state, we lose a few things. Clothes, we lose clothes. F me. 
Hey, time out. Time out, Mr. Thompson. We got to make sure we're not losing important stuff. Uh, for instance, let me repair this and that and continue. We're almost there. Almost there. Maybe the maggots were the party member? You're, you're probably right on that. No. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. I like that idea. Blue Mountains. We have eight days until the winter frost comes, which scares me because we're far away from Fort Nez as it is. At last. At last, indeed. The sight of the warm light from the emigrants' campfires welcomes Thompson as he finally reaches the mountain's pass. A solitary figure appears ahead in the snow. <gasps> Jethro! Jethro, I thought I'd never see you again. It is Jethro, one of the last party members. I was saved by Mr. Anderson and company. Jethro recounts how he had given up hope when he was rescued by a group of emigrants who had also gotten lost during the snowstorm. When he asks after the, the when he asks after the other companions, uh, Thompson explains he has yet to find them. The two hold out hope that they can still be found. Perhaps the travelers at the pass may have some information. Love it. Hey, we got 187 flour from it. That's good for completing our quest. Let's go ahead and talk around and ask around. A few travelers huddle around campfires while others tighten the wagon covers in preparation for their push onto the Fort Nez before winter. Anderson, this weather is not going to slow. We mean to set out for Fort Nez as soon as we're able. You should look to do the same. What would you like to know? Um, any s about his party. Wife and I sold up and set out with our family from Independence in early June. A late start, I know, but uh, we'd be uh, making good timing, though. When we reached Fort Boise, we were told at a good pace we'd make the pass and reach Oregon before winter. The storm hit shortly after leaving, and, well, we lost a few good souls ourselves, not to mention livestock. We made our way here and set up camp. Been waiting for more of our party to arrive, but none have arrived since the day... Uh, before last with winter coming uh, we can't afford to wait any longer i'd urge you to do the same i can only hope those that haven't arrived turn back to fort boise the weather is not going to slow very well ask about him i was a physician back in columbia for many years but the stories of oregon were just too tempting couldn't have guessed how hard things would get on the trail though don't hear many of those stories back home the one comfort i miss uh, other than the decent bend, is a good cup of tea. It's only been coffee out here. It suits Mr. Anderson just fine, but for me, I need something more refined. Aren't you Mr. An oh, Mrs. Anderson. Say, I don't suppose you have any herbs I might use to brew some tea. Give one brew, one herb, for three coffees. I agree. Well, I'll be. Shows it pays to ask. Truth be told, coffee just makes me itch, but... It's perfect for giving you a boost of energy in the morning. You and your companions would do well to drink some on long days to take the edge off. This weather is not going to slow. We'll ask about Jethro. It's a miracle we found Jethro with the storm going on. We barely made it to the peak ourselves. He could hardly walk. Had to lay him in one of the supply wagons. I've never seen a man with such a fever. It was a touch and go for there for a while. He has a fever? One of my daughters nursed him back to health. Okay, never mind. When he made camp here it took quite a shine to him or so my wife says I guess it's god's way of reminding us there is hope even in the worst of times this weather is not going to slow any signs of your companions there was no one here when we set up camp but someone had been through here shortly before us found a half burnt pile of sticks they were still warm despite the snow oh god i, I accidentally all right well that's it for that guy i guess thank you mr anderson uh, Jethro. I mean, we could talk to Jethro. Let's see what Jethro has to say. Lucky to be alive. What would you like to know? How he got lost. You don't remember? Well, as I recall, we were about two days... We were but two days out from Fort Boise when the snowstorm struck. Things went so white. Couldn't see uh, my hand in front of my face. And then the winds came howling. The oxen bolted. I couldn't keep up. <clears throat> How he survived. I wandered for days. Figured you'd head to the pass if you'd survive. I had no supplies, and it's so darn cold up here, I thought all was lost. But that's when the Anderson party found me, face down in the snow. It's a miracle that I didn't lose my life, much less than my nose. One of Mr. Mr. Anderson's daughter nursed me back from the brink of, brink of death. 
Without her strength, I'd never have made it. I promised her if we make it to Fort Nez, I'd ask Mr. Anderson for her hand in marriage. Poof! Th damn! Good for you! <laughs> Yo hey, hey, hey! Ah! You're like, you, your family found me out in the wild. Your daughter nursed me back to health. May I... May I shake the bed with her? <laughs> what the frick? The snows don't normally hit so hard this early. It came out out of nowhere. I've never been so disoriented. Ask about Jane. Your guess is as good as mine. We should ask the other travelers if there's been any sign of her. Helen? I had to hope you found Helen already. The longer it takes, the less likely she is to survive. You mentioned you saw tracks in the snow. We should finish up here and track her down before the weather worsens. Weirder reasons to marry, I guess. <laughs> You're right about that. <laughs> uh, I owe a lot to these people, but I owe you just as much. We need to find the others. All right, let's see. Anything to trade worthwhile here? Um, ooh. Uh... Uh, what are you asking for the two wheel grease? 33 bullets? How much bullets do I have? 53 bullets? Will you haggle? I don't know who would be better at haggling. I would have to assume Jethro is. Ah! Damn it, Jethro. I'll take it. That's a lot of bullets, but I'll take it. What are you offering for the clothes? Reconsider. What are you offering for the bullets? Nothing. Very well. What are you offering for the traps? Nothing. Okay. Shall we rest or shall we not? That's a real good question. Uh, where do we stand energy wise? Yeah, we probably should. Even though I don't want to waste a day before this winter does hit us. We shall rest. Off the snooze. Have a good one, Colin. Do take care. Do take care. All right, here we go. Death row fever day one. Minus day one. Wait, does he still have a... Uh, he still has a fever, yeah? Nine days. Jethro, he's charming and he's paranoid. Of course he is. Of course he is. Uh, right. Uh, great. So, let's put the grease right there. The bottle of medicine off of that dampered little spot there. Probably what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here, repair, uh, that. Take that right there. We're, we're, you know, we're gonna use that right away, actually. Let's use that right away. Rotate that. Put that right there. And I think we're gonna be on our freaking merry way here. Just to double check. We do have a little bit of extra wheat on us that we could use, but I think we might be leaving this behind. Let's use a little bit of coffee, though. Get our stamina up. And, um... Coffee right there. Might be able to squeeze it. Squeeze it, possibly. If I repaired this little bunch here, I could squeeze it. It's 23 flour. I'm not going to really worry about it too much. We'll find more. Let's depart. Well, there's way more people here than just us. What the heck? How can we not talk to any of these folks? Fort Nez, here we go. Restore Jethro's morale and find a party member. We'll see about that. 90 mile go here. With winter on their heels, Thompson and Jethro set out for the fort post haste. Uh, the pair hope that all is not lost for their companions and that they can still be found on the route ahead. We will discard that. Have a good night, Nicole. Thanks for hanging out with us. 203 uh, pounds of food. Now, real th quick here, just to take here. If we even went filling, we could use eight pounds, a, uh, eight pounds of food a day, right? And go strenuous on us. Let's do that. Because there's only two of us right now. More tracks. Someone has traveled through here recently. We will send... I'm going to send Jethro out just 
to see if he might be good at wayfinding. Just to see. Let's discover it, right? Let's discover it. If he comes back with someone, I'm going to be pissed. Okay, so he just came back with someone. Jethro finds Helen, shivering and alone against the trunk of a snow-covered fir tree. He leads her back to the wagon. Helen has been found. Helen is relieved to be reunited with the party, but with winter alas upon them, they get the wagon rolling and uh, drive onward towards Fort Nez. Well, at least the party morale went up. Uh, we will go this way. Lost wagon. First try for Jethro. I know. Ridiculous, right? At least we got that quest done, so that's good. So the wagon grinds to a halt as one of the oxen trips and collapses to the ground. F. In its exhaustion, the ox has become lame. It will never be able to draw a wagon again. The beast could be slaughtered for food, but it may take some time or it could be left to its likely death. Obviously, we're going to use it. We're going to use it. We're not going to set it free. We're going to use it. We have to. Oh, crap. Don't miss. Hey, be careful where you're pointing that. Okay, one ox down. 200 meat, my lord. The ox is sla uh, slaughtered, the corpse butchered and dressed out, and the meat preserved with salt and added to the wagon supply. We're only going to leave like 11 behind, I guess, right? That's fine. <clears throat> Very well. Hey, Sean, how you doing? Uh, came in late. What happened to your other group? I will not spoil it in case, you know, you want to rewatch it. I will not spoil it. But, um... If you're talking about the Oregon Trail, the one that we were doing the whole Oregon Trail, we actually are finished with that trail, but I don't want to spoil it for you. So if you, you know, but yeah, let's just say it ended. It ended. Our trail on that ended. Okay. Um. So let's see here. We have a lot of meat now. Let's see how we're traveling. Our ox seems to be, I think this is information, information. Ox is condition. I want to know what the ox, what, what, what condition is that? Let me know what condition that is. What is that? I just don't want to lose that ox. I guess one thing that we can do is we can steady our pace a little bit for the ox. Uh, you know, we're going to get a medicine and clothing out of this. We'll steady our pace for the ox so that he's not, you know, too bad. Hey, hygiene goes down. That's fine if the hygiene goes down. I can I can make break with that. We have a lot of hygiene stuff. It looks like we weren't the only ones to be affected by this storm. I guess the owner won't be needing this anymore either. We will investigate. And we will take a wheel again. And we will let Jethro do it. Maybe. Oh, nice. We got a wagon wheel from it. Good. Hmm. It's possible that means they all died. That is. You're, you're right about that, Ween Mist. It's possible that they all could have died, too. And I did not make it to Oregon. <laughs> or, I could have made it to Oregon. But, yeah. <laughs> At what cost? Take the axle, take the tongue. Keep it. Keep it as it is. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take care of hygiene here. We're going to take care of hygiene. Blanket. Use on Helen. Use on Thompson. We'll do it that way. We'll go. Uh, so there's a... We could go find the other party member too. Or... Yeah, we're going to go this way. Tracks. We'll, we'll go to the tracks. Yeah. This is going sideways and not forward. That's the only, uh, you know... Only scary thing about it. We have a lot of meat, so we should be fed properly for the rest of this trip. The snow drifts, uh, drifts thickly over the stretch of trail, blanketing a grass of foliage. The ox is finding it too difficult to graze. Oh, crap. The ox, ox's feed is not supplemented from the wagon's supplies. It will soon grow wary and, so, and possibly perish. Feed the ox. Yes, feed the ox flour. We will do that. A portion of the wagon's food stocks 
is set aside for the ox. With the extra nutrition, the ox is able to avoid the worst of the cold conditions. I mean, since we used his brother for food, might as well give him some food as well. <laughs> not of his brother. We're not feeding him his brother, but you know what I mean. More tracks ahead. Uh, on closer inspection, the tracks appear to be uh, those of a wild deer. Not wanting to delay, the party passes on. Now, real quick, let's take a look here. What is our estimated time arrival? Three days. If we go faster, that's two days. Let's go back to strenuous, maybe. Back to strenuous. And we will go... This way. Supplies. Oh, wait. One thing I also want to do, too, is I want to use another oil grease. There we go. We'll use another oil grease. There we go. So while feeding the ox, Jethro observes what it seems lethargic. It's breathing labored. It might be sick. A full day's rest or additional food may uh, well restore its vigor. Give the ox extra food. A portion of food is set aside to supplement the ox's feed. There we go. Keep feeding it. We are very on the brink of this chilly winter. And time est uh, estimation arrival. 20 miles out. Hang in there, ox. Hang in there. Debris falling from a wagon. We can see what's going on. We got eight flowers, 17 bullets, two clothes, two herbal remedies, and five toolboxes. That's very good to see. Very good to see. One day left. Okay, now it's time to pick up the pace. We go to grueling. We go one day estimation uh, time arrival. We hit it with some coffee, possibly. Hit it with some coffee. Uh, also hit it with some herbal meds on Helen and on Jethro. And then uh, take care of that. Add a little bit more clothing, possibly. Jethro and Helen. There we go. All right. I think we're going to be okay. As long as we can beat this winter out. Now we're going even faster here. The group notices the flower supplies are getting low. It's okay. No, no, no. No, we're fine. Push on. We don't need to make any attack. We're good. We're good. The flower remains uncooked. Damn right. Damn right. We're good. We're fine. sudden as hell all right f me need to drop off as it's midnight over here thanks for the fun good luck thank you made by where it's good to see you thank you for hanging out with us today appreciate it have a good rest of your night thompson was simply the best for all the betrayal he will never have in remembrance of Thompson, all things change, but innocence remain. A frail monument to Thompson only be giving life. Can, uh, can we find sweets? Yes. Helen froze to death. Your hunger did not last. <laughs> now with dysentery in death as in life? Nah, I just lied on all the tombstones, dude. So what happened, in case people were confused there, what happened? Uh, the day, basically. The the ice. The, like, gotta get there before day ice thing. Uh, that was the, uh, that was the all of end all. I guess, apparently, you freeze instantly. And you don't uh, find a faster trinkle of death. You just freeze instantly when that time does come. So that's what happened there. We kind of missed uh, the, uh, we, we played very conservative, I will admit. We played a little, too much conservative at that point. Uh, but, uh, I was more, more or less scared for the ox. But, regardless, that is what it is. I was right there, too. I was, like, maybe a five, ten miles out from it, right? Five or ten miles out from it. Not too far away, either. That's the thing. So, yeah. Other than the Oregon Trail... 
that we've done today. We did three things, right? We've done three things today. Uh, wait, it's not over yet. You could do the white water. Okay, you know what? See how far you can steer your raft down the rapids of the Columbia in the endless version. Oh, this is the endless version. I see very well. But ladies and gentlemen, I think that's where we're going to stop it in today's uh, stream. If y'all enjoyed the Oregon Trail, please make sure to hit the like. If you want to see me go ahead and do these other journeys or even go for the harder difficulty on the Oregon Trail, which is called Oregon or Bus, or even do the California Trail or any of these other things, let me know now and let me know in the comment section or let me know by hitting the like button. That tells me you want to see more of the Oregon Trail. And I'll be gladly to bring back the more Oregon Trail because I do enjoy this game after all. Uh, question that i can answer is will do is this game worth the buy yes i i think it's worth the buy honestly i do uh there's a lot of replayability here i always go off of the dollar per hour you will definitely get 30 hours i believe 30 hours of content here for your 30 dollars were spent so that i i think it is it is worth it for sure for sure yeah hope you all had a good time and enjoyed yourself it's been a pleasure and honor being with you here today any of your time spent with me is valuable time, so I appreciate you spending your valuable time with me today. If you haven't already, I would surely like for you to hit the subscribe button so that you can see more content by me. We play all door, uh, all different kinds of games here on the channel, and uh, we stream here just about daily. So thank you all very much. Thank you all. If you want to join the Discord, you're more than welcome to. You can join the Discord. You can follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, follow me on TikTok, or support, help the channel through Patreon. Uh, you can join the channel as well, where you get uh, exclusive live streams, exclusive videos, and um, I even do, uh, I even stream with uh, viewers, and we play little games like Jackbox and stuff uh, every so often or so, and that is all for members exclusive, so thank you very much, and you can also uh, shop cans.com and buy some merch from me to support another way. You can also go to uh, gameradvantage.com if you are interested in buying some blue light glasses, uh, you can definitely do that. Use code CANS for 20% off and uh, get yourself a new pair of glasses, new blue light glasses or prescription blue light. These are actually blue light prescription glasses. You can also get yourself a pair there and I can save you the most money than anybody else anywhere with Gamer Advantage. Thank you all so much and I will see you all in the next one. Tomorrow we will be streaming and I will see you all tomorrow and do as always. Take care.